Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Around. Today we're going to talk about this Emporia View Smart Home Energy Monitor. I don't know what makes it smart, uh, but it's a home energy monitor. I have been running this in my home or in the panel over here for, I don't know, five, six months testing it. Before we get too far into it, I want to explain kind of what's going on here. Over there, you might notice that there are a couple power connect cords connected to a receptacle up over there that go down over here to my IOTA watt, I-O-T-A watt. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it is also a home energy monitor or probably even a smart home energy monitor. It does functionally the same thing that the Emporia View does. There are some key differences though. I'm gonna to try to point those out as I go along. The first one is in the installation, which is the view. You install two circuit breakers inside the load center to power it and probably provide line reference voltage. Whereas with the IOTAWAT, you need a, an external receptacle to power it and provide line reference voltage. I know that it provides line reference voltage because the IOTAWAT is a, an open source solution, both from a hardware and software perspective. And I love that. I really, really like that. It's um, one of the reasons why I originally bought it. It's fantastic. You can actually, um, and I have done this, get these little like micro, these ESP8266 microcontrollers and install the software on it and just kind of compile it and play around a little bit if you're curious in how it works. It's the Adawatt supports 14 monitor circuits. The view supports 16 um, in a supported way. If you're willing to run it in an unsupported way, you can actually do 17. So 16 with the um, regular circuit monitoring uh, CTs, these up to 50 amp CTs that you see up here. And then you can do the 17th with one of these um, what are you supposed to be, your mains voltage monitor, or uh, sorry, current monitor. Um, their software doesn't support that, but if you don't use their software, then that's not a limitation anymore. It's a, a feature, so 17 versus 14. Um, that was a pretty key difference, or part of the reason why I ended up picking up the view instead of another Iadawatt. The other difference, or the other reason, was that this, the view, is significantly cheaper than the Adawatt. Right now you can buy a View 2, the second generation one, for $165 in the configuration that I have here, which is the hardware, the main hardware, this thing, this box in here, and then 16 of these up to 50 amp um, CTs. Whereas the Adawatt in currently for the kit is like $390 for everything. I didn't end up buying the kit from them. I bought just the box and the um, power cords, and then I ended up getting the CTs off of eBay. You can save a lot of money doing that, but it's still nowhere close to $165 for all of, all of that. Like I mentioned, you need to install circuit breakers in, in your panel. If you're not comfortable with that, then that you know adds some complexity to it. Um, you also, if you don't have a receptacle, you would need to install a receptacle in the area around your panels for the IOTAWAT. It's a lot easier to be safe uh, installing a receptacle because then there's just one circuit to turn off. Um, you don't have to turn off the whole panel to install a couple breakers here. Um, you should, but you don't have to. Just be aware that the bus bars will be live if you don't. Insulation is pretty straightforward and easy. Um, one CT per logical circuit. That's one per 120 volt, volt circuit and then one per 240 volt circuit. But then you go into the configuration app and double it so you get accurate numbers. And then you got to punch out the box, the load center box here, so that it can get Wi Fi because this effectively is a Faraday cage you need to make sure that um, otherwise it just won't be able to do the Wi-Fi. It is Wi-Fi only as well, as is the IOTAWAT. There's no um, capability for Ethernet on either of them. Uh, a couple other installation notes with the, the view, the numbers on the back 
not in the order I would expect them to. So when I originally set up the circuit map, I messed that up. So just something to be aware of. And then the CTs in here where they plug in, um, it doesn't have a lot of positive feedback when you stick them in. And they also can come out when you're wrestling it into the panel. I had that happen with a couple of them. I engaged support around that. They were not helpful at all. I eventually figured it out. And then when I mentioned it to them, they said, oh yeah, that can happen. If it keeps happening, you can wrap it in electrical tape or we can try to replace the unit. Um, I just installed them all the way and crossed my fingers and it worked. And then I haven't touched it since and it's been fine. I don't know how to properly characterize this. I do not like the app or web UI that Emporia uses for the view. I, I don't think that it presents the data in a way that is um, easy to consume or user friendly. It's okay. I'm going to put some screenshots around so you can judge for yourself. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I like the way that the IOTAWAT presents the data on its pages, and I'll also put a screenshot up here. I mostly use those for real-time usage to kind of troubleshoot things, like why is my number the number that I'm seeing kind of things. For real data analytics and all of that, I don't use either app or web, web UI. There's no app for the IOTAWAT. I use Home Assistant, and you can pull the data from both of these into Home Assistant. It's totally fine, but the difference there is um, the IOTAWAT is all local. There's no cloud dependency, but the Emporia uh, uses the cloud. It goes up to the cloud, and then you have this third-party add-in that pulls it down and sucks it into Home Assistant so you can do your analytics on it. I don't like that. I wish it was all local. Um, interestingly enough, uh, Emporia has an, an FAQ for the view that says if, if you want them to add a local API, you should contact their support. And uh, so I did. That was actually the, the second time that I engaged their support. And I said, hey, I'd like to have a local API. And they're like, nope, we don't do that. Um, suck it up. Paraphrasing, obviously. I was like, oh, okay, um, maybe you misunderstood. I'm aware that yeah, that doesn't, it doesn't have that feature. Um, I was just reading through your FAQ. It says that if I want that feature, I should ask for it. So this is just me asking for it. And they're like, nope, we don't have that. Uh, probably never going to add it. Um, suck it up. <laughs> so it, just, it was a weird kind of, I don't want to say hostile, but it wasn't, it didn't make me feel good about Emporia for them to say, do this for me to do it and then to come back at me in that way. It's a niggle, it doesn't really matter, but it, it was annoying in the day or two that I spent doing that with them. I think I might, if, if I didn't mention already, I know this is getting a little rambly, I did some basic um, accuracy test, testing between the IADLOT and the view. Uh, basically I had, the same, I monitored the same circuit for a little while on both of them, and they were functionally equivalent. It would be nice if I had a third way to do it to kind of figure out which one was more right, but they were so close to being so, so close to each other that I'm not sure there would have been any value in that. Um, they're not going to be perfect because it's just it's measuring the electromagnet. Ah, it's just measuring the electromagnetic field uh, across the wire, so there is some potential for error, but it's close enough that it's good enough for what I'm doing with it. So I'm pleased with the accuracy. I am thrilled about the price. And I actually prefer the installation story for the view to the Iotawat because it, you know, once I put the cover back on the panel here, it's a much cleaner installation, much cleaner looking installation on the outside where the Iotawat kind of hangs out on the side here. And obviously, once these are is a cabinet, once I close it, it doesn't matter at all. But if this was in an open space, there would be more potential for things to get yanked on or pulled out. And I had to punch through the side of the panel here to feed the wires to the Iotawat. So I prefer the installation story here to that. I prefer the open source nature of the Iotawat to, to this. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, if I, if I was going to buy another one of these to monitor um, the, the circuits that I can't monitor, because I just don't have enough 
capability between the 14 there and the 16 here. Um, I, it would be another vo view. It just, the price is just too compelling. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.